Hello and welcome to something different on my channel. I've decided, I've, cr I've just come up with this fucking crazy idea. I'm going to call it FIFA All-Stars Lottery Challenge. And what does this consist of, you may ask? Well, I'm going to take two teams. I've picked Ajax and Inter Milan. I went to the Twitter. These were the two teams that came up. So we're going with Ajax and Inter Milan. I'm going to pick players out of a hat. You can see there on the screen, we've got forwards, mids, goalkeepers, defenders. I'm going to pick players at random out of this trusty little stubby holder. I'm going to fill two teams. Then I'm going to go ahead and create two custom squads in the uh, in the customize your teams. You can do that. I'll put a link down in the description below on how you can customize your team to use in career mode. I'm going to create both these teams. I'm going to use Ajax. I'm going to create into Milan as the players are selected. So there'll be two teams. And then I'm going to simulate a full season and uh, see if both of these teams can meet each other in a Champions League final. And then we will play as Ajax, hopefully against Inter Milan. So that's how it's really going to work. I, I haven't got the, uh, the full gist of what's going to actually happen. But basically what I want to do is pick two teams, simulate to the end. Hopefully they both get through to the Champions League final. You'd assume so with the caliber, caliber of players that are, are there on the list. And uh, all right, let's just see what happens. So first of all, I've got six goalkeepers. Uh, I've just cut out little little numbers. They're in there. Give that a good little shake. And first, we're going to pick a goalkeeper for Ajax. So one of these, whatever number it is, on the right-hand side there, you can see six goalkeepers. Dwar, Courtois, De Sturgen, De Gea, Czech, and Loris. One of these will be the Ajax keeper. And who is it going to be? GK6. So, Loris, where are you, son? Let's just uh, get over here. And... I haven't used OBS before. This is my first crack. So, Loris. Loris is going to come, and he's going to sit up here for now as the goalkeeper. Now, later down the track, when we get to pick the reserves, that's a free-for-all, and there may be a better goalkeeper come forward and play for Ajax, but we'll see. So, Loris is the goalkeeper for Ajax at this stage, and the Inter Milan goalkeeper is going to be... GK4, De Gea. So, De Gea is going to be the goalkeeper for Inter Milan. So, you can sort of see how this is working at the moment. And uh, we'll just move through. I'll just get rid of the rest of those goalkeepers out of the stubby holder for now. And let's move on to the defensive line. So all of those going in the little stubby holder. All right, so I've got to pick four defenders. There could be left backs, right backs, or center backs. We have no idea what we're going to get. And first off the bat, we have right back three. So that is Pisiek. Uh, I'm gonna fucking murder half of these names. I just know it. Uh, where are we? Right back. Where are ya? Where are ya? All right, now we'll move him in here. So we've got a right back. That's kind of convenient. Okay, first defender for Inter Milan. We have center back two, and that is Hummels. Center back two is Hummels. Where are you? There you are. You can be dragged up there. So the teams are starting to form. Next defender for Ajax is... Another right back. Oh, that's dangerous. Right back one, which is Zabaleta. Okay, so Zabaleta is our next defender. So if we don't get any centre backs, these two guys are going to have to uh, do the business. But you'd assume that we try and pick up someone in the reserves. But you never know. It's a complete lottery. Next off the bat is left back three. Left back three is Jordi Elba. Okay, so Inter Milan starting to build a fairly decent side at the moment. The next defender for Ajax is... Let's have a look. Come on. Give me someone. Give me someone. Good. It's left back one. Left back one is the normal Elba. All right, no dramas. All right, so Ajax really need a center back of some description. Give this a nice little shake up. Inter Milan, what are you going to get for us today, Inter Milan? You have given me a center back number 10. That's uh, Benitia or something or rather. Where are you, sunshine? There you are. Let's chuck you in there. So they've got a couple of center backs there. 
All right, so I've tried to pick some of the best players I could find just to make two all-star teams. The next defender for Ajax. Where are you? All right, we've got a centre-back. Number nine, it's company. Okay, so... Yeah, not a bad little defensive line there at this stage. Now, let's have a quick look. The final, the final piece of the defensive line is centre-back six, and that is Silva. Let's chuck him in there. Okay, so that's our defensive lines all sorted. And we'll get rid of the rest of those for now. All right, now we move into the midfield. Who will be the first midfielder for Ajax? Now, there's plenty of positions here. CDMs, left mids, right mids, the whole lot. And we've got right mid number two, and that's Ruben. So that is a pretty good pickup for Ajax. Uh, just try and find him here. Here we go. Ruben comes over. Get in there, sunshine. All right, no dramas. And then the next player we have for Inter Milan is Cam One. Who is Cam One? It is Rodriguez. Well, look out. It looks like Inter Milan are building a very strong side right here. Very, very, very strong. Next midfielder for Ajax is CDM number two, and that is Lam. Okay, that's that's good. We've got some good defensive efforts there. Lam, where are you? Come across there, son. No dramas. All right, and the next midfielder for Inter Milan is... I can't read my own bloody writing. What the hell is that? Oh, left mid. Left mid four. Don't have a left mid four. Can't read my own fucking writing. Oh, no, it's a one. Left mid one, Hazard. Ho, oh, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Left mid one, where are you? Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so Inter Milan looking very, very strong at this stage. The next midfielder for Ajax is left mid two, and that is Ribery. Okay, so fairly defensive. You'll probably be looking at some sort of centre mid there for Ajax coming through, but what do we have for Inter Milan next? We have centre mid four, and that is Videl. 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 There we go, Videl, you can come in there, son. Nice work. All right, what have we got next? What have we got next? And it is center mid six. That is Mudrick. Okay, that is the midfield there for Ajax. Looks pretty tasty at this stage. And the final midfielder for Inter Milan is left mid three, Ruiz. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, they've got a couple of left mids. Hopefully one of those can fill in on the right-hand side or something. All right, so that's our midfielders. Scrap them away for a minute. Now we move on to the all-important front line. We got strikers, we got right wings, we got left wings. Let's see what we've got here. And the first forward for AX is left wing number two. And that would be Neymar. Okay, Neymar is going here. That's a handy little acquisition there for Ajax. Okay, first forward for Inter Milan. Left wing number one. Holy shit, Ronaldo. Oh, this is going to be a fucking team to beat, I can tell you that. And next forward for Ajax. Am I even saying that right? No idea. Here we go. Right wing number one. Alexi Sanchez. Okay, so Neymar and Sanchez up front. No actual striker at this stage for Ajax. Mm, that's going to be interesting. Who have we got up front to partner Ronaldo? Striker number four, Aguero. Okay, Aguero. Aguero. 
All right, so that is our starting lineups at this stage for the two teams. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of the leftover players into the little stubby holder and we're going to select 10 reserves and hopefully it makes up some of these positions that we're lacking. All right, give that a good shake up. Give it a good shake up. All right, first reserve for Ajax. CDM number four, so Matic. Where are you? Where are you hiding at? CDM number four. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, first reserve. All right, so. Could be injuries while we simulate. We don't know. We probably want a backup goalkeeper of some description. Inter Milan, pick up. Center back, number eight, Laporte. All right, Laporte. Where are you, sunshine? There you are. Laporte. Okay, so. Inter Milan are looking very, very strong. I can tell you that right now. The next player for Ajax is right mid, number three, and that is Muller. Okay, that's decent. Muller. So a lot of midfield here action. I'd like some strikers of some description. Next reserve for Inter Milan is CDM number five, and that is Isco. Where are you, Sunshine? CDM number five. Was it? Oh, CDM number five. Oh, I'm a Tweety. Oh, okay. Yep, no dramas. Yep, definitely that one. Definitely that one. All right, next player for Ajax is center back three. All right, we did need a center back, and that is Boateng. Okay, center back number three. Where are you? Where are you? Center back number three. All right, center back number three. That's decent. That's decent. All right, next off the bat, what do we got into Milan? Who have you picked up for your side? Center mid number five, it's Cruz. Cruz. All right, so the strikers must be hiding. We'll give it a bit of a shake up, bit of a shuffle, bit of a shuffle. All right, who have we got here for Ajax? And it is CDM number one, and that is Sergio Butquez. So, lots of midfielders here. Let's, well, geez, should have made the box a little bit bigger. Lots of midfielders getting picked out. Not a lot of forwards. Goalkeepers have gone missing. The next one for Inter Milan is centre back number four. That's Varana. Um, where are you hiding? Here we go. So Inter Milan building some decent defensive line here. They got a lot of centre backs. They probably need a right back of some description. All right, let's have a look in the lottery. Number five, centre back number one. So we've picked up PK. Uh, here for Ajax. You really need a striker and preferably another goalkeeper. There's only five spots left. Number five for Inter Milan, S6. Van Percy. Van Percy. Van Percy. Okay, Van Percy. Well, Inter Milan picking themselves up another decent striker. Ajax will be looking for something decent. What have we got here? CDM at number six, and that is Alonso. Alonso. CDM number six. All right, we've got a lot of CDMs sitting here in Ajax, so they're going to be very defensive. Reserve number six for Inter Milan is center mid number three, Schweinsteiger. And I think I've spelt that wrong. Oh, well. We'll deal with that later. Get in there, son. No worries. And the next one off the ranks for Ajax is S1. S1. Messi, here you go. Here's the big key marquee player that they've been looking for. And Messi, he is coming to Ajax. He'll definitely be starting up front. You can tell that for a shadow of a doubt. All right. Number seven for Inter Milan is... It's a goalkeeper. It's number one goalkeeper, Noir. So they've picked themselves up. Uh, oh, jeez. Made that a bit smaller and a bit bigger, and oh, shit's going all over the place. Anyway, uh, we've got a goalkeeper. Where are you, Noir? Noir, 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 however you say it. I don't know. I just tend to murder names left, right, and center. So we've got three players left for each team. Who have we got for Ajax? 
Next off the bat is S3. We've picked up another striker. Ibrahimovic. Whoa, here comes, here comes Ajax into the fold. They've picked up a couple of strikers late in the lottery. And it is looking good now for Ajax. Next off the bat is S2. Suarez is going to Inter Milan. Okay, so they're fairly heavy. We really need a backup goalkeeper here for Ajax now, I feel. And next we have... Oh, we've got a cam. Cam number six. Okay, Ozil. Ozil is going to Ajax. Ozil. So there's going to be players left over for sure. They're the unfortunate ones. We really need a backup goalkeeper for Ajax. If Loris goes down, they could be in the shit. Reserve number nine for Inter Milan is... Cam number two, Goetze. All right, so that's... That's a very strong team. You can see the caliber of players we've picked here. And we're really looking for a backup goalkeeper here in the final position for Ajax. What have we got? What have we got? No, we've got cam number four and it's Ericsson. 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 All right, so look out. Not a lot of defenders. No backup goalkeeper for Ajax, but that is their starting team. The final position. Who will it be for Inter Milan? It is center mid number two. It's Iniesta. 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 Where are you, Sunshine? Iniesta. Iniesta. Center mid two. There we are. Bring him over here. Okay, so the players left over were Lewandowski, Lucas, Vela, Griezmann. Uh, in the mid, Bale didn't get... Didn't, didn't get in there. We missed out on Pogba, Di Maria, Kadira. Look at those keepers. Courtois, to Sturgeon, Czech. And uh, defenders, Michelo, Danny Alves. So no right back there for Inter Milan. That could be an issue. Um, they could probably play someone there. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Sergio Ramos and uh, Otamendi also missing out. So that's the final two teams. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into a career mode. Uh, edit those teams up. And get ready for a simulation. Um, we're going to end that episode there. You've seen the teams. You've seen what's happening. And if you want to see an episode of this, if this, this looks like something that you'd really enjoy watching and just, it's just simulation stuff. It's, it's purely hypothetical on what could happen if you had these two all-star teams competing in the world together. So if you had endless money and you could go out and buy these fucking teams, what would happen? Uh, obviously everything FIFA 15 is in play, all the injuries, all that kind of shit. And Inter Milan might go ahead and sell players. I have no idea. I'm going to have no control over them. But all I'm hoping is that they meet up in the Champions League final. We can take control of Ajax and just have one hell of a red hot crack at a game of FIFA. So let me know in the comments what you think of this series. Um, or should I try something different? I'm not 100% sure. It's just something that I came up with on the fly, off the top of my head. And uh, that's what we've come up with. So leave your comments, leave your likes, and let me know what you think. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere. You have a good one.